You're always buying. You're always acquiring. And you can only acquire that which belongs to your self-awareness. That's all that you can have. You can't have anything else. And you must have this. This must come to you, what belongs here. Another technique for increasing the positive getting power of your self-awareness is what I call identification. Identify yourself with what you want. And of course, when you see yourself with it, you're automatically identifying yourself with it. And I and my mother walked daily four miles to school and four miles back and the people passed by us in those fine cars and splashed water on us in the muddy road. I didn't identify myself as the one who had the water splashed on him. I identified myself with those people riding in the cars. When I would pass the Edwardian room at the Plaza Hotel when I first came to New York, working my way through Bible school and sometimes didn't have subway fare, I didn't identify myself as the hungry little black boy passing the window. I identified myself with those people who were inside eating. I never stayed at the Plaza Hotel but once in my life, and I didn't do it because I needed to. I did it to fulfill my dream. Cost $205 for one night. But I had a date that I had to fulfill, you see. <laughs> it was my date with destiny. And it'll do all of you good sometimes. This is another thing, you know, just get some money together. Even if all you do is just go downtown and spend one night. And you live it up. Because here again, manipulating your feeling is very important. Do something that makes you feel rich. And it is impossible to stimulate the feeling of, of, of being rich without somehow or the other bringing riches into your life. To get the name of the composer, someone can find out for me in the research department of the Science of Living Institute. But there was one composer who dressed fully in his tuxedo and tails when he got ready to compose his music. He projected himself into the mood of being and doing that good which he wished, wished to do. And whatever money you get, whatever it is in terms of facts and figures, dollars and cents, I say that you should put, you, you should just appropriate some to enjoy. You should appropriate some to get some extra enjoyment out of. Regardless of how small the amount may be. Call it your joy money. <laughs> Treat yourself to, to something nice. This builds up your self-awareness and your self-awareness will acquire that which is of its nature. Because here again, if you do not have a wealthy self-awareness, then no one can even give you wealth. That's why, unfortunately, the people who are in a welfare society or rather a welfare psychology will always be on welfare until they cut that out and that's about to happen. Thank God. And every chance I get on the media, you got to be careful with do-goodism, you know. The, the do-gooders do more harm than a little. If you're not careful, the do-gooders will do you in. Any help that does not help a person to help himself is criminal. Because you rob people of their sense of self-responsibility and their sense of self-sufficiency. We had some reporters upstairs after the prayer service the other night, and, and, and one of them said to me, well, Reverend Ike, what do you give to the people? Do you have any programs? I said, well, I don't have any soup lines. <laughs> he said, didn't you see me out there giving for two hours? I'd rather give you the understanding so that you can get what you need to buy your own damn soup.
Excuse me, saints. <laughs> Someone has said, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man how to fish and you feed him for life. And when I teach you how to manipulate, how to master, how to use your self-awareness, then I don't need to have soup lines. But you see, unfortunately, the world mind doesn't understand that, you see. I'd be a good fella if I'd be giving out old, worn-out, dirty clothes in the neighborhood, you see. Oh, isn't that Reverend Ike wonderful? Look at him. He's giving those poor people clothes. Because I don't have any old worn out dirty clothes. Anybody who knows a little bit about me know that I can take any of my suits that I've, some of them I've had for years and I can put them in a brand new store right now and nobody would ever question the fact that they're new. Nobody would even ask. So even the things I give away are top shape. I don't have any old anything to give. <laughs> and really, the only thing that you can really give a person that amounts to anything is self-motivation. <laughs> anything that you give to a person that does not involve and include self-motivation doesn't really mean much. I do a lot of giving on the material level and I do that secretly because I don't go around grandstanding people for what I give them. But if I give somebody a suit, you can be sure I say to him, now I gave you this suit so that you can get the hell out of here and find you a damn job. Excuse me, saints. <laughs> and let me tell you this, you don't, don't you support your lazy relatives. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is to support your lazy relatives. <laughs> I'm curing a whole lot of diseases already, I can see. I know one young fellow in Los Angeles who, who left the South and he won't even let his relatives know his address, his phone number. Yeah. <laughs> now, if they want to come and stay with you a while so that they can help themselves, and you just make sure if they tell you that they're coming and they're planning on coming with you to, to live and, and so on and so forth, if you want to do that, that's fine, but you, you have some jobs, you have the employment columns all laid out for them when they get there. <laughs> now, don't make them too comfortable. <laughs> you know, Reverend Ike, he's my brother. The hell with that. <laughs> You let them lay around there on you, they won't be any good to themselves or to you or to anybody else. And even your kids, make them sing for their supper, <laughs> like little Tommy Tucker. <laughs> Give them certain duties and certain responsibilities. How did I get over into that? And as I say, whatever you give to people should include self-motivation.